Hello and welcome to another tremendous week of Wild Ones podcast. Mind blowing, some might say. Mind blowing. Mind I like boggling. Mind blowing. My name's Alicia. My name's Gillian. Gillian, who we've we been joined by this week. Today we've been joined by Samson Murray. Um, he's not actually called Samson Murray. He yeah. is on social media, but his name's just Sam. Samuel. Samuel. Yeah. And actually, I wanted to keep calling him Samson, but Sam. Mm. Sam for short. Sam Murray. Sam. Um, God, we've been trying to think of, we actually looked at the thesaurus, didn't we, to try and pick some new words, rather than just going for, like, amazing, incredible, awesome. Inspirational. Yeah. But he is all of those things. Yeah, so he's a dude. So, why change what we know works? He... If it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Uh, he is, um... He is inspirational because he's absolutely bonkers. And we, when we were talking about the episode, we were talking oh about... Oh, my God. He is actually nuts. Although, I have to say, during the podcast, he he did... He reined it in massively. He reined it in. If you look at his videos on social media, he is bonkers. And you will laugh out loud at everything he says and does. But um, for the podcast, um, he was still lots of fun. Really funny. Like, I was smiling the whole time. Yeah. But we actually had really good conversation with him as well. So yesterday, uh, Sam sent us a, um, a video message. Um, and his video message was to say that he was looking forward to meeting us and coming on the podcast. Um, he was standing in the middle of Storm Dennis outside in his underpants, uh, in the pouring rain and like 80 mile an hour winds, screaming, I can't wait to meet the yeah. girls while we're on the podcast. Yeah. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> Yeah, He's so brilliant. we're going to include some of those clips mm. uh, because it would be such a shame for you all to miss <laughs> out. But as per usual, if you're listening and you get a chance to check out the YouTube channel, please do because we're going to include some of his videos on there so that you can see he is actually as bonkers as us, if not more so, but in a really good way. He is inspirational. He is trying to spread the word of positivity through his new YouTube channel and he is a massive advocate for positivity for veterans' mental health. So stay tuned. Um, have a listen and if you can pop over to youtube and have a watch yes grab yourself a drink we have grabbed ourselves a drink so we are drinking dead mammoth coffee company yeah. coffee thank you very much dead mammoth coffee company i keep i'm gonna just keep saying it dead yeah. mammoth coffee company <laughs> enjoy the episode guys <laughs> this week we are interviewing the incredible sam murray we've lost him where's he gone Julia? i haven't got a clue where he could possibly be i don't know where could he be Sam, you there? It is I! (laughs) (laughs) I am here! Jazz hands! There you go. If you only um, listen to our podcast, you actually need, you need to go onto YouTube. You've just made one of Gillian's dreams come true, Sam. You really have. Was it? Because <laughs> I wanted to play with the green screen. Oh, and right. I thought you me. Oh, and that. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> but I've wanted to have fun with the green screen for a while. Okay. Um, and now we have. Oh, yes. It's our first step to having green screen fun. Later on, I will be flying on a broomstick and being Harry Potter, maybe. Yeah. And one of these Ferrero Rochers can be a golden snitch. Brilliant. Yeah. I feel special. <laughs> when, we, so special. when we were first talking about the podcast, we were like, well, we, we've got to record it because um, visually as well, because otherwise mm-hmm. the guests kind of, you know, just... I, we want everyone to see your lovely faces. Right, Our, our yes. wonderful guests. But Gillian was like, we've got to get a green screen. I thought, oh, well, yeah, if you really want one, you know, I do what I can to keep yeah. her happy. Oh, you've got to, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, you must keep me happy. Yeah. yeah. So um, our wonderful supporters at Plymouth Armed Forces Awards were like, yeah, we'll we'll sort your green screen out for you. So they, they bought it for us. Yeah, so they bought us a green screen and they right. they made Gillian's wish come true. But we haven't um, played with it yet. You, they made my wish come true, but you've made my dream. Oh, come true. you see. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm honoured. I'm honoured. How do you feel hiding under the green screen? Very hot. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> it might be because I'm with you two. I don't Ooh, know. But one of the two. Maybe. It's very, very, very hot. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I said, yes. rose yes. between two thorns. Yeah. Oh, mm. I say. Sam. Sam, thank you for coming. <laughs> my pleasure. You're not from down these parts, but you're here for half term to see your mum. Yes, I've come down with my children to see my mother and my sister. They live near Mevagissi, so we've come down to have oh, some down. fun in the sea. Lovely. In the surf. Lovely, yes. yeah. And uh, just do some crazy stuff while I'm down here. And do a podcast. Who do you us? 
Meeting you two was the main focus <laughs> of this journey. Of course it of was. Of course, yes, of obviously. Course so you say come down, so talk to us. That takes us sort of nicely into okay. where you're from. Where, where do you hail from? I hail from um, a place called, originally from Marple Bridge, which is you know, on the Great Manchester border, and it's where Miss Marple was. Ooh, uh, that's where the name ooh, comes from. Marple. There you go. Yeah, so she was on a train on the way from Sheffield to Manchester to your publicist. She was thinking of a character, thinking, oh, no, what can I call her? The train pulled in, Marple Station. Miss Marple was oh, born. Wow. <laughs> I love that story. There you go. So, so great story. Famous people like Agatha Christie's Marple yeah. and me come from Marple Bridge, yeah. which love is great to Manchester. The best people. Yes, there you go. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense. Do you want to take your jacket off? Yes, can go I take on. my jacket yeah, off? Yeah, go on. No, oh, you don't, here we you go. Take the green screen off your lap as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it, a bit warm, it might it? be, yeah. yeah. And my. my Hold uh, on. There you go. If anyone's uh, da, 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 watching da, on you. Always get caught. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Bye. Okay, we're, we're currently Ooh. hiding under oh, the green screen. There we go. <laughs> right, so there we go. Oh, okay. So, from Manchester, from yes. Greater Manchester, you grew up. Is this a village outside or a town? or? A little village outside near Stockport's nearest place place mm-hmm. yeah yeah Stockport um little uh, it's getting bigger I suppose but it's, it's quite a nice little quiet backwater and really. what was life like a life for Sam growing up it was brilliant well my father was um ex SBS so it was quite crazy we used to come down here all the time so it would be it was pretty full on so I was uh pr- you know being chucked off bridges and into rivers at a very young age <laughs> so it's sort of in my so that's DNA. interesting. I didn't know that your dad was SBS. Yes. Ah, yes, okay. that's where some of my madness comes from, I suppose, or whatever <laughs> you call it. And that's, I guess, why you joined the Royal Marines as well. It was, although he did actually. He said, "Don't whatever you're going to do, unless you're going to go mm. go to university first. Do not join the Royal Marines. Yeah. Unless you get an education first. But oh, I went in at the careers office at fourteen, and said, "I want to join." And, oh, you know. So were you um, were you a patch brat, or did your mum stay put and your dad whilst your dad went off and? My dad had left by the time I was born. Mm. Um, he was a deep sea diver then, so we'd moved to Marple Bridge, and okay. he became a diver. That was mm. his thing. So, you, so was he away a lot during that anyway? Yeah, yes, up? six months of the year, and then he'd come back, and he'd uh, sort of. I never went into school. He'd he had an RS. He used to have an RS two thousand, which was like a cool car in those yeah. days, <laughs> and a motorbike. So he'd he'd get up in the morning with just his dressing gown on, take me to school on the back of his motorbike. You know, just drive down the the stairs, down the steps to the playground. Wheelie to the front door, and I used to, I used to be really embarrassing for me, but as that's kind of cool, but it now, I, yeah, my friends yeah, are going, my Wow, dad that's is really awesome. cool, yeah. So but cool. at the time, I was like, I hate you, but now <laughs> I thought, Yeah, it's quite cool. And then he'd come back at dinner time, and, he, and my mum already found out this the other week. He'd come back at dinner time and he'd take in the car and take all my teachers to the local pub, <laughs> and say, Three of them female, one, one headmaster, take them to the pub, they'd all turn back up after lunch. Absolutely minging and sort of teach me. I was like, being yeah. on the piss with your dad. Being on the piss with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he taught the, he used to take them all, my teachers, and get them drunk. Well, so Gillian nearly became a teacher. Well, she had she it did. in her head. So, but Gillian would have been the kind of teacher that went yes. on the piss at lunchtime. Yeah, right. probably. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's not enough of that. The best kind of teacher. Yeah, yeah, no, I went to, um, uh, it was part of um, University of Exeter, but it's based in Plymouth um, right. College of St. Mark and St. John and did a B.Ed in primary teaching. Oh, okay. But yeah, I've got two small children now and I can't right. think of anything I'd rather well, not do than yeah. teach ah, primary okay. school age children, right. to be honest, because I love my own children, but I just, I go to work to not be with children. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So to enough. be around more would have just been no, it's yeah. a no from me. So anyway, so growing up was kind of wild. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, you joined, you signed up to the Marines, went into the recruitment office when you were fourteen. Fourteen initially, my dad stitched me and my friend up who joined the Marines with me, and he thought it'd be funny for us to wear his SBS ties. <laughs> oh no! And we went into the careers office at fourteen, and this this Navy chief petty officer went. Oh my God, look at these two, brought us all in. And there's like about 20 of these. All the people in the group, Manchester Careers Office came out so to laugh at us. But they said, to be fair, they gave us, it was a good effort, 14. Yeah. So they just laughed at us, made us do a few press ups, dance, do silly dances, and then <laughs> come back in, you know, six months. See if you can handle 15. the banter and the Yeah, <laughs> I was used to that anyway. I just get that 
throwing up all the time. It yeah. was part of life. So when did you actually join up and go in? 16? 16, yeah, 16. And then I passed out 17 when I went to 40 initially. Mm. That, was, that was my in. That's what it, so 40 Commando in Taunton was your, yeah. your first parent sort of unit? Yeah, it was. That was your my, home. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, home. Although Plymouth is my home. I always feel... Most at home in Plymouth, Aww. most of it. So it's good being back here. Yeah. A here funny, st- funny story going past. I drove past. I'm keeping my hands down here. <laughs> like, driving on the A38 then, I saw Crown Hill. And mm. when I was at Coy Pool, just up the road, mm. I was in a Land Rover. And this is quite infamous in the core. I was uh, speeding quite, fa- quite fast. And I could hear there was a noise coming from the back of the Land Rover. And I thought, what's that? So I put my foot on the brake. And as I did, the, I was doing about 60 miles an hour, the rear wheel bounced over the, <coughs> from the back, bounced over the top as I brake, braked and went doing about 50 miles an hour towards a bus stop. So as you got Crown <laughs> oh Hill, my God. there's an optician's window, there's optician's yes, there on the optician's, left. Yes, there is optician's, yeah. Well, yeah. I'd just be, literally just been built and it, there was, so it was obviously, I saw it bounce and clear the bus full of, uh, bus queue full of people so it literally skimmed over their heads and I went straight through the optician's window <laughs> and I could see them and I went oh sugar so I pulled in and I went in I was in my uniform and I went in and there's just chaos everywhere oh my everywhere. god you must have been mortified so, well it was a little bit it was, uh, but I was sort of walked in and said can I have my wheel back <laughs> and just a, like a little low lady there she must have been going like A, B, wheel, wheel or whatever but yes that's <laughs> That just brought that back. Anyway. Oh, oh, that's brilliant! It's really yeah. nice when you can like um, drive around and have yeah. remember things because something triggers a memory. Yeah, that's yeah. a good oh. one. Yes, that's yeah, funny. yeah, definitely. Oh that's dear, so funny. definitely. So, how long did you spend in the Royal Marines? Uh, nine years. Nine years. Yeah, I did nine years. It was when I was in. There wasn't like the lads now. You know, there's all sorts going on. But when I was in, was very little. Lots of Norway, a bit Northern Ireland, and things like that. But mm. compared to what the lads see now, you know, nothing really. Mm. So I, I saw more when I came when I left than I did when I was in, to be honest. Okay, so, yeah. so talk us through leaving and the transition. Well, uh, yeah, before when I, I, my friend Andy Bradsell, he was a he's passed away now, but he was a Canadian, but born in Britain. So he when he left the Marines in '96, he was a bodyguard, one of the first sort of you know when it was before it became what everyone does, <laughs> and he was his wife was a famous Canadian model. So she got him the job in Miami as Madonna's bodyguard. So my wow. first leave, summer leave, when he was out there, I went out there to, uh, and this is the Prince thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a slip the Prince story. For background, yeah, so... we posted a video of Samson and he mentioned um, Miami and Prince. And I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. So I, I was still in the court at the time. I took an extra, I was two weeks summer leave. So I decided to take Bit of extra time because it was going out so well so i ended up putting a month over there but prince opened a nightclub and, and obviously my friend knew all the, the he knew all the stars and yeah. stuff so he the prince had a special vip night and he told them that i was sean Ryder from happy mondays oh. so obviously i've got like you know i've got an old like that and so, so I, I can speak a bit like i'm from manchester yeah and i saw it i went to school in manchester so i uh yeah so i was sean Ryder. so oh, i went in <laughs> he went in and print right in front, literally, he did about seven songs, sang, and um, and yeah, so luckily he didn't, he didn't really know who Sean Ryder was, but I passed it off and spent the night at Sean Ryder and uh, <laughs> sort of drank with Prince and priceless. got up to all sorts, which we can't talk about on here. So, <laughs> <laughs> But it was a good Incredible. night. We ended up in a, a six o'clock in the morning playing pool with Wesley Snipes. All these, as what, you do, yeah, normal. you know, and uh, totally normal, yeah, and lots in of, Miami, in Miami, this yeah, is so such a yeah. good story. I love stories like this, this and yeah, so awesome. it was a bit crazy. These mafiosa guys came in, and Wesley Snipes' his bodyguard sort of peeled him out. Brad decided to start a fight with these guys, uh, <laughs> and the guy behind the bar knew him, he had a shotgun, and sort of it all went a bit crazy. But <laughs> that, was, that was just, I ended up staying. I went AWOL for like an extra two weeks, but it was worth it. I got, I got <laughs> it 20, sounds like it was. <laughs> it was. 
I got 28 days, but it was worth every second. No, hang out with second. Wesley Slopes. I'll see you when I see you. All yeah, right. I'll be like, back. Slopes, Wesley yeah. Snipes. Yeah. Yes. And I'm like, I need to put my teeth back in today. I'm struggling. You do. Go and get them. Mm. Pop them in. Pop them in. You got me in a fluster, son. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good night. It was a good good couple of weeks. Yeah, no, yeah. there's loads of other stuff, but I, my mum might see this, so mm. I can't talk about Mum, switch off now. We're going there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit. I like love a... that. So yeah. you 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 got a, what t- sort of twenty eight days in Colchester for that? No, Pompey DQs, which is a naval oh. prison. But it was all yeah, right. That's fine. even worse. It's like a it? health club. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it was brilliant. It was a health. I didn't realise the first morning you have to do you do. It's only about a two mile run or something. But, but I didn't know you had to go faster every every morning. So maybe in a boot neck, never all the matlows were there. I, they were, I could see them all dead slow and I thought, yeah. I'll run faster then, than you. Yeah, until it was <laughs> yeah. every morning I had to, you had to go faster and faster. But anyway, it was a, it was a good experience. Oh my God, I'm mind blown <laughs> when already. When was that? Yeah. 96. That was oh. 96, yeah. 90, 90, 95, When 96. I was 10. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was, I was nearly finishing secondary school. So oh I no! <laughs> oh, God, I feel old. <laughs> no, technically I could have signed up to the military at that age. So, oh yeah, there yeah, you go. Just about. See? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Which I nearly did, but that's a whole other story, okay. a whole other podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, so <laughs> with with all of that like awesome experience and your mate being a bodyguard, you were like, oh, stuff the call, I'm going to go and do that for a bit. Yeah, exactly. That He set up a company called the International Academy of Close Protection or something, made it up, and he, and he got a that's contract. That's what it says on the can, really. That's what it says on the can. <laughs> so I cuffed my way. I didn't do a bodyguard course. I just He just signed me up as a director of... Of security, and I went over to Canada, and my first job was to teach Native Americans. So it was sort of my into Alberta in a classroom, thirty Native Americans who really didn't want to be there, and me just Aww. not knowing what I was talking about, and just cough <laughs> cough away. We ended up with world's best friends. Went to a powwow, you know, the big, like all the different yeah, tribes came awesome. from all over America, and we were the only sort of non Native Americans there, and it was quite an honour. But they. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was wow. Good. Working good. as security? No, teaching them. So teaching them. Teaching them as a reservation security, right. so just basic security stuff. Well, that yeah. is cool. Yeah, no. It's... So from there, you were like, well, this is getting better and better. <laughs> yeah, life's all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it was all right. Then we were, from there, he, got, he cuffed it again, being an ex bootneck. He got a contract with, with the Philippine government. So teaching, <laughs> teaching. The, Fake it till you make I it. can say this because it was years ago. <laughs> Teaching their special forces close protection. Oh, I'm touching you on your oh, table there. Right. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we went over to the Philippines. So I'm like, tw- my my group, my mum and everyone was, was saying you shouldn't be going out. It's going to go wrong. And there was a civil Mindanao civil war and the rest of it. So we did a couple of about three months. And then it all went wrong, as it was, you know, mm. and we ended up being involved in a civil war and all sorts yeah. of things. And I came home to meet mum. Mummy! Mum, I don't want to do this anymore. It's quite scary. Yeah, so, so back to Manchester, Greater back, Manchester. Greater, yeah, Manchester. Uh, well, I moved back to Manchester and had a couple of years of crazy times living in a flat with a friend of mine, um, Hacienda and all that sort of thing, you know. just to, Do you yeah. want to talk about that? Can do, yeah. What suppose. did you get up to in Manchester for a couple of years, Sam? Tell us more. <laughs> That's very sinister, isn't it? Tell, Tell us more. more. <laughs> no, no, just... Um... It kind of leads you on a path to where you are now, mm. though, doesn't yeah. it? It all forms a bigger story yeah. of what you're up to now. Yeah, of course it does. It does. It just... Uh, I mean, that's when I sort of got heavily involved in... Because before then, I'd never done drugs or... And it just drank, because part of the core ethos is, is really against that, obviously, which is a good thing. And I got into that scene, you know, not realising, you know, the different, the troubles that you have, people, mm. you know, and especially in those days, you didn't talk about mental health. It was never talked about, really. Mm. I think my father did. He he, he self-medicated with alcohol. Mm. And I think that's where a lot of it came. But me being a bootneck, I got straight into the drug scene, really, <laughs> you know, ease and you know, all the rest of it and cocaine and, mm. and all that. And that's, and that's, that was how I dealt with my sort of shenanigans, yeah. my, my mental health or... Which was obviously not the right thing, but it, it went on for about 20 years, <laughs> mm. more or less, you know. That so that's how it got started. Mm. And then yeah. it was too difficult. You you said you were sort of in that scene in the flat with, for a couple of years with your friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So how did you sort of get back to yourself? Well, I met the kid. Well, I, didn't, I never really got back to him. I met the kid's mother and we, um, we had a family together, but I always did... Um, 
you know, I always did sort of hit that as my go to thing, you know, mm. that's you know, drugs or alcohol was my way of dealing with the way I was feeling inside, I suppose. So that's I did it for years, up until recently, to be honest. Yeah, well, there's yeah. a reason why it's addictive, isn't it? Because mm. you get that massive euphoric high yeah. from it, so yeah. you feel yeah. happy. And then um, I th- I've always likened, um, I like the analogy of chasing the dragon. And I know it's yeah, a heroin yeah. analogy, but mm-hmm. constantly chasing that high. Yeah. So then you when, ha- when you have that massive low and come down, mm-hmm. You don't want to feel like that. No. So you're no. chasing another higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. that that's the addiction. It's not the mm-hmm. substance itself. It's the feeling that yeah. the substance gives you. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, no, without a doubt. It it does and I, and and it creeps up on you and uh and you're just trying to constantly get back that yeah. feeling. And I, that high feeling also is a feeling like you're actually in control as well. Yeah, yeah. Like from everyone that mm-hmm. I've spoken to actually mm-hmm. say that the feeling of when they take those drugs is actually makes them feel like they're they're okay. Powerful. Yeah, they're powerful yeah, when they're on yeah, track yeah, rather yeah, than yeah. and then when they're not on them, it, mm-hmm. that's when it all kind of feels mm. like it's falling apart. When yeah. in reality, it's probably the other way around, but mm. you just don't realise it at the time. Yeah, so. no, definitely yeah. With, without a doubt, and it's it's something that I've you know battled with for years really, mm. and only just I ended up in hospital for many years ago a few years ago now and, and that's when I realised that it was it, I had to do something about mm. it but I didn't you know, I, I did yeah. I did for a bit yeah. but I, I still you know it's only re- it's only recently since I went I don't know if I'm going off track now but no not at all it's only recently since I last year I I've, I've been a private investigator for years since I don't know the early 2000s so that in itself going around the world doing all that sort of thing still you can function and, and I was doing mm. lots of mm. naughty stuff and um it's only recently that, that this early this year did a jo- last year did a job with a friend of mine f- because that's always that again that whole world's quite a murky sort of you know it's not a very good world to be in and i did a job for, uh yeah, getting bringing on some animal rights activists over in s- somewhere abroad and then it was something worthwhile and i thought this is you know i'm actually doing something worthwhile here and then i and then I've, I found Op Spartan through Steve Burns, and uh, I just sort of completely had an epiphany. You know, I really, yeah. you know, I just stopped stopped doing that work, that life, stopped doing um, doing everything really, and just thought I sort of opened my eyes and just, you know, sound like a Christian now. But I'm yeah. far from it, but <laughs> but yeah, no, I just all of a sudden I had an awakening, and I just thought there's more to life, and I, you know, that's that's where I got to. So, would you describe yourself as an addict? Um, no, no, not re- no, because I've got. Con- I don't know. That's really hard. Mm. I, suppose, I don't. I suppose you don't want to mm. uh, describe yourself as an addict. So, I'd say I'm not because you know I can. I can stop. It's cope is my thing, really. To be honest, mm. for the past sort of for a long time, and I've just stopped doing it. You know and. But when I, I suppose there's triggers. So if you if you drink, then sometimes I can, especially if I'm if it's things aren't going my way. Yeah, I suppose. So I suppose in a way, yeah. I suppose you always like. I suppose I'm. A, I would say I'm, mm-hmm. I have a, a, with alcohol as well. I have, yeah. I have a, quite a tricky relationship with that, really. So yeah, it is really difficult yeah. to admit to yourself and mm. to other people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Has anyone ever asked you that question? No. <laughs> and I'm thinking, it's really difficult, yeah, isn't there's, it? Well, yeah, it is. No, I'm not. I, I've I've replaced that addiction. So I suppose, yeah, I've replaced that addiction with my new addiction, which is what I do on the spot and what I do, mm. which, you know, there's my Wim Hof stuff, which... Chasing new highs. Yeah, yeah. So I've yeah. replaced it and that, that works for me. So I don't need that anymore um, because I do that. Okay, so let's go there. Now you've talked. Now you've okay. mentioned it. Mm-hmm. Let's go there and let's talk to us about Op Spartan and Wim Hof. Yeah. So well, that so Op Spartan. Um, Steve Burns set up Op Spartan, and it's an amazing thing. You know, it's. Uh, I suggest anyone who's ex-military or serving or blue light services to to join. It's 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 just really beautiful place to go to where you can feel um part of something but also um it's positive you know it gives it gives out uh, for people support. who have no idea tell us a little something about ob spartan uh well there's going to be people listening that yeah okay so about. it's it's set up by Stu burns for um 
serving and former services armed forces and also for all the blue light services yeah i'm an, i've been a member since yes started, you remember yeah. yeah so it's it's um it's just different from all those other it's not a banter page it's not a you know it's, it's a support page but it's also so positive it gives you and so this that's is on facebook on facebook, facebook page and, and also, group. yeah and also there's an app as well um so, uh, so that's uh that is what the thing that got yeah, me. Yeah, what I really like about Op Spartan mm. is that if anyone posts anything really negative, unless yeah. they're asking for advice yeah. or saying I'm having a bad time, if mm. someone's just on there to bitch yeah. and snipe, the posts get removed straight away. Yeah, we do. Know, yeah, yeah, we were. Which right I really it. like. Yeah, we don't. It, 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 I'm a moderator on there, so we're, we're all doing. We're all leading our own lives, so it, it's yeah. self policing half the time because most of the people are getting contact with mm. us, and so we don't like this. It's all, you know, the, the tagline is standing together side by side, always support, never divide. And that's, and mm. we like to keep it at that. And it's, it's such a, you know, good place. And that's where I got my motivation from because I'd find that I'd, I'd go out doing these mad videos where I'd run and then I was accountable to the guys and girls on there because if I didn't, they'd say, why aren't you going out running? Why aren't you doing your thing? Yeah. So it just, I always became this sort of, version of myself you know it's quite an amazing mm. transition and i could, and and i'm still doing it now i went on a, a nlp course um and hypnotherapy course through field work in barcelona and that just changed my life because i learned all about myself and a, how i work phil says bring you back leave your baggage over here and, and that's what i did i left i came back just you know like felt yeah. like jesus <laughs> <laughs> but you're like, a bit you're like, like Jesus to be honest keep watching you baptising yourself yeah it in is water. it is like baptising and, and I suppose that's why they do that mm. because it, it, you do feel like you've been reborn but it's the, the Wim Hof stuff that I've gone back to that Phil yeah. introduced me to that and that, that that's the science so that opens up your central nervous system you tap into your um, your um you, you release all the chemicals, the, the natural endorphins. Through cold water submersion? Well, through the breathing first. Mm. So you do the, the breathing techniques first, which is it's online. You do the breathing and then you hold your breath. For, you, you, sorry, you don't breathe. So, and then you, 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 it's, a series of, it's a series of rounds of doing it. So and, for people that, that don't know as well, yeah. tell us about Wim Hof. What does that even so, mean? So Wim Hof is a crazy Dutch guy whose wife committed suicide and left him with two small children. So he, he wanted to do something about mental health and he thought, How, what can I... So he formed... A, he looked into it scientifically mm. and he, a, a way of releasing your natural chemicals from your body and he came up with this technique which is a way of breathing. So it's... Uh, just don't do it now, but it's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah so, don't hold your breath now. No. So it's a series of breaths. You breathe for, you breathe in for, from your diaphragm and then just release the breath out. We do that like 30 times. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the last breath, you just stop breathing. Two minutes, just don't breathe. And then you start breathing again. And you do that for three rounds. Mm. And then all your central... You could actually go and sit in an ice bath now after doing that. And you won't hyperventilate because you, you, your central nervous system is open. But at the same time, you've released all the endorphins, so you get that. They're the, the same high that you get from any drug. And trust me, there is, I've tried most of them. I've never had a high like that. Really? Yeah, wow. it's an amazing. It's I definitely a, want to try it. Yeah. It's amazing, Let's honestly. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah honestly, I, I did. I, I, sometimes, it, if you do the extra, there's an extreme version of it, and you just sort of go to another level. Oh. So, uh, well, I, I, I think um, a couple of guys from my work were talking about this um, at our summer party last okay. year, but I mm -hmm. can't fully remember because I was drunk. Ah, <laughs> don't do that at home, kids. See, I was thinking along a completely different line. I remember, you know these like Guinness World Record mm. attempt things? It yeah. was a television programme like that, yeah. and a guy did that breathing technique, mm -hmm. was in a bath full of ice, Yeah. And managed to slow his heart rate down. Oh, that'd be weird. That sounds like my man. And and people were like, um, <laughs> my man. I, re I remember there being some sort of med lots of medical people involved, and mm. he was trying to prove that you can just with mm. your mind and your breathing increase and decrease your heart rate. It doesn't have to be through exercise. Mm. And it, yeah. it, it was yeah. amazing to watch. Yeah. He's he's been up. He's three quarters of the way up uh, Everest in just his shorts and a pair of boots, 
just by doing the wind breathing. No, no safety equipment. Uh, frost no oxygen. <laughs> no, because you, he's open by doing the breathing. You open. I go up my local mountain. Well, it's not a mountain. It's a big hill. But it's snowy up there. My local mountain is just well, like you know. a yeah. slightly steep. <laughs> slightly no, it is. It's, it's a big, it's a big one. It's a big one. But up there, it's like snowy and stuff. And I'll, I'll I sit. I do the breathing on the way up, and I can sit in the snow. You without might have just changed my life, you know, because yeah, I am yeah. a miserable cow it. when I get cold, and yeah. I, no, I do love it. exercise. And I love Alicia's putting myself like out there. Arch enemy is the cold. The cold. Yeah. I, I literally, do I'm this. not scared. I would. I personally would love yeah. to do Everest mm-hmm. I, I would love to right. do mm-hmm. love mountaineering yeah. love like adrenaline sports I'm a mm-hmm. massive adrenaline junkie love being out on the sea yeah absolutely excuse the square swear f- hate being cold <laughs> to the point where I just rather not <laughs> beep, join beep. in <laughs> oh, I, right. I, I would rather I will dismiss doing something if it means that I'm cold to my core I'll send you a link to Wim stuff we need to he's got an app we free need app. to hashtag Wim Hof yeah this, yeah, this yeah, is going to change it will. It's changed mine, honestly. I, I swear, my it's changed my whole life. And I tell all of the people on Ops Partner doing it, I'm going to go up later on and do it with a serving sergeant. Mm. He's, he's, we're going to do it together. Mm, sounds good. And then we're going to get in there. We're going to jump off a bridge into the water. It, it, it. Let's mental do health. It. Mental health, it's it's an amazing thing for for your mind, for you. So you can just watch YouTube tutorials on it. Yeah, I can. Or you can download an app. It's free. Yeah. A Wim Hof app. Wim Hof app. Okay. Doing so it. we should okay. say Sam actually invited us this afternoon to Ashburton yes. in Devon to do this and jump in water with him. But we're recording another po- podcast later, aren't we? Yeah. So yeah okay. we, Next um, time. We we can't. However, what we we're did say to. was that we were going to jump in some cold water and do a video, but we need to do some breathing. You need to do the breathing first. because that, you can't that's just jump the, into yeah. cold water. Yeah, the breathing good, gets but. you opens literally opens up your central nervous system, pushes up all the carbon dioxide out of your body. So it's really good for you. Love You're this. over. It's over. It's good for your health in general. I mean, I mean, really good yeah. for your health <laughs> because it pushes. It opens up all your. Blood cells. Pushes. I need to get my circulation you going. Do it. Yeah. This is it. Do it. You've done it. This, you've, this, I've just changed your life. You, you might I've have done it. I'm super excited. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, I'd be really interested. If you're listening to this podcast at the moment or watching via YouTube, if you go and now away and try this, please let us know how you get on. Give us some feedback because yeah. it'd be really interesting. And then we, we can pass the feedback back to Sam. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to try that now. It's yeah. am- honestly, yeah. it's it's... It's it's. I'm going on a journey now. I've, you know, I don't, I don't, I've no, not thinking about work. I'm going on a journey, and it starts 27th of March. I'm a friend of mine, Tom Merriman, who does. I know Tom. Tom, well, Ging. he was Ginger was a little cadet at Stockport. He was, and I saw him, and I went. I went back to train them all, the cadets, as when I left the Marines, and out of the room, I went there. He's. He's, he's going to be a boot neck. Yeah. And, we've, and his, his grandmother, actually, is a good friend of my mum's, but I didn't know that. At really? The time. Yeah, really good Small friend. Small world, isn't it? Small world. So, so Ginger sent me, he just said, right, I've booked you, you're going on this four day CrossFit um, what, CrossFit retreat. country retreat? Yeah. Near Glastonbury. And he sent me on it. Yeah. So that's when my journey starts. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go off. I'm going to interview. I've so got... Locked On Media, a producer, our producer yes. went on that four day CrossFit Oh, really? Oh, retreat. I shall ask him about that. Yeah, so uh, there's not a lot of fizz involved. It. Is it? There is quite a lot of fizz. <laughs> you only get out of it what you put into it. So if you physically okay. can't do it, yeah, yeah. just work until you cut, you are breathing yeah. out of every hole in, on your, in your body. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they feed you well. <laughs> yeah, they feed you well. They look after you really well. Okay. Besides, incredible, oh, okay. great exactly. food, great I'm people. Forward to it. Yeah, no, I can. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, I can't. Out of every hole yeah. in your body. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Literally. Right. <laughs> this is a different type of blowing. podcast. Okay. People be blowing. No, well, that's all right. I can do that. I can, I've got an injury anyway. But no, I'm really looking forward to it. And, it, and, and Tom, you know, bless him. It, it's through RV One UK that he set mm. up. Tom does devotes all his. He's got three boys and he's a sergeant and the PTI Lou. and the lovely Lou yeah and and what does he do he just devotes his to, yeah, to doing he charities does loads for real loads yeah um, he's just non-stop so and yeah. he's, he just sent me on this so I'm going to start there and I'm going to go around the country interviewing different I've got loads of I've got famous DJs I've got bootnecks who won medals I've got RAF guys I've got there's loads interviewing of interesting interviewing for what this is something else we don't know about no, well no it's not a, well what it is I'm going to spend the afternoon with people and I'm going to, we're going to talk about their lives. We're just going to sit and have a laugh. Yeah. I'm spending two days in a tree house with Bish Bisham. You know, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. 
that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what's going to happen there. We might end up naked or something. <laughs> But we're spe- <laughs> but we're spe- yeah, so just things like that, spending days. I'm just, I'm just, I've got a YouTube channel, so I'm going to put everything onto there. And then, Shameless plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <do> <laughs> What's I've your worked, YouTube channel? Yeah. Uh, it's better than milk. It um, is better than milk. Yeah, it is better than milk. <laughs> so I'm going to... Oh, you've called it a YouTube channel. It's, it's better, better than, than milk. milk. Did you yeah. know that? Yeah. I've subscribed. I'm a subscriber. Oh, are you? Yeah, I am. No, I, I think I did subscribe because you shared it on Ops Button, but uh, I didn't... No, I'm like... not allowed. I don't... So I'm not allowed to. Of course I can, but it, I, the two things, I just want to let everyone to know, oh, they're, separate. they're completely separate. Yeah. So I wouldn't like to... You know, anything I do on there is completely separate than to do yeah. on Ops Button. That's, that's one thing that... Where, where on earth did you get the name It's Better Than Milk from? Because when I was running up in the hills in Manchester, near Greater Manchester, and I was running, and I'd just sort of say, I, I, again, I'd just say whatever comes out, and then I was going, it's fucking better than milk. And I used to keep saying, <laughs> it's better than fucking milk. And I don't, no, oh, it's milk from the advert, is isn't it? It's, yeah. Milk's right, I don't want to annoy any farmers, but... <laughs> It's from that the fast show. He used to go, it's better than oh milk. Oh my God, I remember. Milk, okay. And I just kept saying it, so my friends picked up on it. They actually made a t-shirt, it's better than milk. Yeah. And I thought, that's, yeah. yeah. That's what we can put ours out. Do not upset any farmers, though. We could call this video. No, I know, I know some dairy farmers. They don't think they'd be upset with okay, that. Okay, good. Okay, so what I'm saying is, positivity is better than milk. You know, I think they'd just, be happy with it because it suggests that milk is actually probably yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. But you have it's found one thing yeah. that's, that Which is, is better. Yeah. Life and breathing and just feeling good about yourself. Yeah. Loving yourself is a, is a big yeah. thing. That I've, I, When I went to Barcelona, I had lots of uh, guilt, lots of, uh, lots of guilt and lots of, I don't know, other stuff going on. But I, I hated myself. You know, I didn't like myself very much. And that's what, I, when I went out there, Phil... I, I got to understand myself mm. and actually you know it's all right mm. to I was always putting myself down and you know I, but now I, I don't but you have to be you able know. to self-analyze otherwise yeah. if you literally thought that you were the best thing since sliced mm. bread yeah yeah yeah, you could, yeah there's no room for self-improvement no of course yeah so no you you're right to analyze yeah but at the same time not focus on the negativity just focus on where you mm-hmm. are and where you want to be and yeah. then yeah. just yeah, we say this every week because mm-hmm. we've literally our guests are all so similar yeah. and yet so different, mm-hmm. and it's about putting that putting that out into the universe and then yeah. just making yeah. it happen. Exactly, and and that, I'm a massive believer. Positive mental attitude, yeah. but also, like Alicia said, mm-hmm. thinking something into existence yeah. and making yeah, it that ex- that's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. And it, uh, as a bootleg, I would have thought it was a little bit mumbo jumbo. But it does. If you, the universe conspires for you, and not mm. you know, and it will not against you. People get that impression that oh, it's going. To, no, it's not. It's how you think, how yeah. you believe. If you if you are so sure and positive in everything you do, then everything just falls into place, yeah. and that's what's happening. I'm not. I don't worry about tomorrow. I don't worry about where my next money's coming from. I don't work. I don't. I don't really care about any of that. I just know that on my path, I know that it's it's going to go start. In, in Glastonbury and it's going to I don't know where it's going to end up um, it's already started though Sam yeah of course it does yeah so you, uh, it has yeah no you're right it, really it has. has no it has because yeah. I've I've been watching your videos yeah. I've been watching your posts on Ops Barton mm-hmm. I found you an inspiration Thank that's you. why you're here because oh. yeah, we love you <laughs> <laughs> It's, yeah, okay. it's good. So no, you've thank definitely, you. You've definitely already started. But mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you, I guess yeah, you yeah. could I don't know what you could look mm-hmm. at it as so rather mm-hmm. than a start more like mm-hmm. a a, a milestone. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. You've got to get to that yeah. milestone. Yeah. Well, I'm coming you here. You can reach you know? the next level. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's level yeah. up. Level up. Level up. Well, I've even got plans. There's a, from Up Spartan, there's an American guy on there. I think he's, I don't know, he's a pilot, I think. And he said, he shows all my videos to all, these, all the lads on the base there, and they all love it. So I don't know. I'm going to go wherever with this, and it's yeah. going to pick up momentum. I know it will pick up momentum. Yeah. As we go along, and it's going to be... Love it. But it's going to be massive. It's, and I'm going to just... Because I want to change social media from this bloody negative, toxic politics, yeah. religion. I want to change it too. Let's all just realise that we can make we can be good about yourself. Yeah. Love yourself is one thing I would promote. Loving yourself and just, you know, living every day in the moment. Even Positivity. looking at that, you know. Everything, everything just... just Every living in the moment, so it's mindfulness, but my own version of it. Yeah, I think know. at this point, um, 
I so my my personal journey, which I don't mm-hmm. want to harp on about too nope. much, is I've I've had a couple of quite serious mental health mm-hmm. breakdowns. Yeah, and I've been medicated for um, stress, depression, anxiety mm-hmm. for ye- for years on and off. Yeah, yeah. Um, so although I'm I'm good at the moment, mm-hmm. and I know my own mental health really well, so I know if a bad time is coming, and I yeah. I can kind of avoid it. And mm-hmm. now I I maybe just need one or two days. Of yeah. sort of self-reflection and quietness to get over and carry on mm-hmm. I know that there might be people listening to this that are in the depths and they may go again I'm going to swear fuck mm. all this positivity mm. yeah yeah because yeah, I yeah, know that yeah. I've, I've been in that position yeah, where I'm yeah, like yeah. I don't want to be, be positive mm. not everything's going wrong and even if everything was going right and I mm-hmm. still, don't, still don't like my life I yeah. cannot I don't want to feel positive yeah yeah, yeah. so I know that I've been in that position mm-hmm. and I've managed to crawl my way out of it. And I'd imagine yeah. actually at times, yeah. like Julian has. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, have, me. Sam. Yeah, God. Oh, massive at the end of it. You know, normally what I do is reach for the bottle or mm. I reach for bringing a drug dealer up to get some cocaine or that's... It. But now I don't. And, and yeah, I get that. And, and I, you know, at Christmas I was really low and, mm. and I nearly went down that road, but I didn't. And I thought a couple of days like you said reflected realized it's okay it's okay to be like this like own that own, own that it. feeling yeah, it's own it. okay yeah own to it. accept it and say so you've got it you're going to be okay this is what it is don't go down that route and then I started doing my breathing again and and I got back into I stopped doing it for a while mm. and then when I stopped doing it then I started to all the negativity in my head starts to come in you know I mean really mm. bad at christmas I was terrible and I managed to to get out of it because I know now that it's it, it's okay to feel like that. But don't the more I drink and the more I do anything else, the worse I'm going to get. Yeah. So I've replaced that now with doing my my thing, which is is that might not work for some people, and that and, and that's cool. There's other things you can do. That's it. It's about trying various it's, different yeah, things. Yeah, trying now, different things. I met somebody yeah. who was like completely and utterly like yeah. anti. Um, I don't want to say anti mental health, but mm-hmm. they didn't believe. It, that depression or anxiety even existed. They couldn't yeah, get their okay. head around right. it. Yeah. For God's sake, what have all these yeah. people got to know, so know about? Yeah. Like as well. yeah. And yeah. then they mm-hmm. hit a brick wall and yeah. went downhill really fast. Okay. And they um, ended up doing equine therapy. Oh, okay. So they ended yeah. up learning to horse ride nice. and seeing a psychologist mm-hmm. at the same time. Yeah. And that completely changed them. So that was more about being in tune with the animal and yeah. being outside mm-hmm. and um, they, because they've had a feeling of losing self control, in order to feel like they were controlling something, mm. they were able to learn to control a horse. Yeah, okay. and the thing is, well, it's like you just said, um, it's about owning that that feeling as well. And if you're feeling mm-hmm. down, you can own it. And and it's easy to feel out of control, mm-hmm. but sometimes you can do things like take drugs and drink, yeah. or go on massive shopping sprees or mm-hmm. benders or whatever it is that yeah. you're doing that you think is making you feel better it's actually when you realize that mm-hmm. that that is something that you can control that, that actually makes it even worse and it can send you into more of a spiral yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and actually to start mm-hmm. doing things that you know will bring you out of it yeah so for you starting with your breathing techniques again yeah. and, and getting out there because mm-hmm. it's so very easy to have behaviors that actually make it worse and it's when yeah. you realize that those behaviors is is, is making it even worse again yeah yeah that no, you can control it yeah exactly so, that. Yeah, yeah it's nice to recognize your own mental health mm-hmm. and then to know that you've got like i imagine it to be like a little thread of hope so your mm-hmm. thread of hope is do you know what i've recognized this is going on and mm-hmm. your little thread is i can do my breathing techniques mm-hmm. and then once you start you feel more in control and then you can then continue yeah with yeah. all of the other positive mm-hmm. things yeah getting back to where exactly. you should be exactly yeah. that and it's it really is that for me, it's that I say simple. It's not simple, and it's and, and and like it's really important to say that you can't always. But I'm not. I'm not always positive. You know, mm. I'm far from it. But I, I just know that it's okay to feel like this yeah. because I know I'm going to get out of it the other side. And and do you know what? It makes me stronger. You know, it makes me. I feel so much stronger for it. And and I've never changed anything that's gone on. 
you know, I'd never change anything, really. No, I'm not, no. I and do you know what? But to put, to <laughs> I don't think... No, I wouldn't. No, OK, no. no to put another spin on it as well. Your videos, you're getting something out of it. Yeah, they're, massive. They're absolutely hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, so funny. We're yeah. all getting something out of it because we get to yeah. see you in just your pants. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with my arms. Pants. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I know. No, it, it gets... I sometimes sit at home and I thought, I can't, really can't be bothered. Mm. But then I think I've got it because... Uh, the other day I had a, some friends around and we had a late night and then I didn't go on Facebook or anything and I got loads of calls and, and loads of texts saying you're okay and you know and yeah, I haven't thought, seen a video from you yeah, today what you, why you, so I just thought I've got to mm. you know what I've got to snap out of this accountability yeah it is and and so it works it's both ways in fact more so for me it it makes me it gives me purpose and mm. it gives me drive and that's why I'm, that's that's my life now it really is my life and if I can make it pay I don't know if I, I don't care but I'm just going to keep going and going it should and going. be a TV yeah. program if you're jumping it. into water I there'll know, be something I would watch that, I'd watch that. I, do watch, I love watching your videos they're hilarious yeah. so even if you are feeling mm. really negative and yeah. down at the minute yeah. and you don't want to listen to all the positivity mm. talk no. just mm. look at Samson jumping into loads of cold water and yes. running around in his boxers exactly. it is funny <laughs> it's not just funny though it's really inspiring as well it actually makes me want to jump yeah. into cold water which I wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> it's a ridiculous thing to say. Like, what time in my life would I ever want to do such a thing? But it does make me want to do it. You no, know, it's and, and I think well, I do want to do it. Yeah, you've got to do it. Well, oh, we'll yeah. do it next time I come down. But I was talking to a guy, Bootneck Kev. Um, he was telling me he, I can't remember. I can't remember the name of it now. It's some sort of martial art or something around that. But when you really don't want to do anything, you've got no energy. Okay, that's when you go and do something. Okay, yeah. So when you've got loads of energy. You've got loads of energy and you, you're going to explode. Mm. That's when you should sit down, be calm and reflect. Mm. And when you, if you can do that, then that balances your whole life. I'd, I, I've tried it and, and it works. It, it was only the other day you mentioned this to me. You know, you're know, you full of energy. See, I would struggle with that. I know. Yeah. Well, I, I know yeah, you. yeah. It's but just to... I literally have to monotonise the, on the energy when I've got okay, it. Okay, yeah, I fair enough. It, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so done. Ah, uh, yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I but I, I get what you're saying and I yeah. should try it. Yeah. Try, honestly, I did it the other day. I've just spoke, got off the phone to him. Next day, my son's just moved in with me and um, he was... He said you're going out for a run today. I really, really, really. Cool. I was going to go to sleep mm. actually in the mm. afternoon. You know, when you get that little uh, oh, to that age yeah. 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 It's know. always weird, though, isn't it? When you wake yeah. up, it's like. Oh, God. Well, the secret for that Where is don't have over twenty minutes. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, anything over twenty Power minutes up. is oh, right. will make you feel rough. Okay, mm. so oh, right, that's then. a set you alarm next science. time. I know. <laughs> I do. Not I honestly. ever have an afternoon nap. <laughs> when does that ever happen? Yeah. But it, but nice. instead of just sitting there, I thought, no, come on, just do it. You know, and my son was there as well. He, he said, you're not going to go out for a run. And I really did. And I just got my trainers on. And it's like that everywhere I go up. And I did it. So and you're I saying felt... that when it's the weekend and me and Alicia are just like mm. hanging out yeah. and we're not doing yeah. anything, yeah. we should actually go out for a run. Do it. Yeah. Or go for a walk. You She's pushing me into going for a run. I'm I not know, a runner. It's it. gonna go, for a go, walk. For a run. go for a walk. Go for a walk. Take the dog out for a walk. Go for a... Take the dog out for a walk. Anything that, you know, some people don't like running. Go for a walk. Take the dog out for oh, a walk. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm a massive get outside yeah. campaigner, champion. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Love, love, love being outside. It's I just brilliant. don't like being cold. Oh, okay, well, we can well, sort now we that. Know. We can work on that. Breathing technique. Yeah. Honestly, it's. Uh, I did four minutes, ten seconds, holding my breath. No no breathing. And I started doing a minute and a half. That's nuts. And I could do it for four minutes, ten seconds. And it was an amazing feat. You I could f- be a free diver. Just not, not yeah. breathing for four minutes and ten seconds. Just don't breathe, yeah. So, so for those people out there that... Um, just either want to watch you running around mm-hmm. in your underpants. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and there will be people like that. Yeah. yeah sure. so the, the Male, female, bring it on. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Non-binary. Yeah. Non-binary, yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that. And the people <laughs> that want to watch the, the cold water therapy, the people that are mm-hmm. interested mm-hmm. in Wim Hof, mm-hmm. the best place they can find you is to yeah. go to your YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's Which better than is, milk. It's better than milk. Than milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah. so you guys need to do that, and we will also yeah. put a link up to that. Yeah, okay, but I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank you. yeah, that's fantastic. Um, the the Op Spartan stuff will also yeah. put a link up. Yeah, to, definitely. Yeah, um, because that's that's evolving really quickly, isn't it? Yeah, massively. Really been going. And yeah. I'm sure oh, there, there are lots of people listening and watching on YouTube mm-hmm. that are um, that could join Op Spartan. Mm-hmm. 
an our ex military or yeah um, serving, serving ex policemen yeah, fire brigade don't know about paramedics. it because it's still it's, mm. I don't know how many members there's. No, there's 9,000. Uh, 9, so it's quite big, but I'm sure yeah. there are still people that, that don't oh, know about yeah. it. Oh, it's lots, relatively, yeah, yeah. relatively new, isn't yeah. it? So, mm-hmm. five yeah, months, definitely, yeah. Is it? Five months Not, old? About five months old, yeah. 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 Not that many people in five months. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. amazing. It's yeah, a massive. Yeah, so it's definitely uh, growing very fast. Mm. Isn't it's isn't it? just, you know, it's, it's, Steve's done such an amazing job. Well you know. done, Steve. And it was, uh, he's coming on the podcast at some point. It's oh, is he? Yeah, okay. organising logistics. Yeah, okay. Yeah. looking at you, Steve. Yeah, I'm watching you, Steve. Steve can hover now he's that chilled he can actually <laughs> hover I'm trying <laughs> well we're going to do that with a green screen later <laughs> yeah <laughs> no that's my next step. I'm going to learn to hover yeah I'm not, I'm not quite mastered nice. it yet <laughs> just floating just going to float yeah. oh dear you know what you need to do you need yeah. to put um, like a massive montage of, yeah. of um, like cold water shenanigans okay you need to yeah. make a big yeah. montage on, yeah. and put it on your YouTube channel like yeah every single one uh, you've ever done yeah over okay. some sort of mental music mm-hmm. yeah, yeah I, okay I'm, I'm, I'm into what it. music would you choose oh I was listening on the way up here I'd, it depends what, again music's my it's kept me alive, really. Powerful, isn't mm. it? It's kept me alive. And I, and I like everything. So I had Jurassic 5 on the way over here, which is nice, hip-hop. Nice, yeah. yeah. I like hip-hop. I like rock. It depends on what I'm Led Zeppelin, dance music, anything, really. You love so, a bit of dance music. I love a dance I've music. I've had some voice messages from you at 1am. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. It is, it, is, it is true. I've seen it all. Oh, no. Oh, heard. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, so anyway, moving swiftly on. So, yeah. But, yeah, no, so, yeah, any, any sort of... Yeah. So, it's not true, Mum. So, uh, oh, Mum. Sam's mum. Sam's mum. What's you your mum called? with a lot. What's your mum called? Anne. Oh, Anne. Anne. Oh, and she's just got herself. She's got three Valentine's cards, by the way. No, three Valentine's. We don't know. Well, uh, yeah, I know. Was it a mystery? One of them's ten years younger than her. <gasps> I know. Oh, oh, Anna. Anna. Uh, I know. Anna's got a game. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Anne. I know. Down in Cornwall, getting all the Valentine's. I know. Cards. Oh, I know. Are some of them question marks, or does she know? No, who she all knows who they are. She'll kill me for this. No, she does. I won't say any more. Okay. No, I won't say it's any more. It's a It'll secret. Make... Love it. <laughs> <laughs> So you've had some really high highs and mm-hmm. some really low lows. Massive low lows, yeah. I've tried. I've yeah, uh, yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah hospitalised and everything. You've, so you've um, you've yeah. had a a very colourful career. Yes, yeah. It's lots, yeah, lots. Of you've seen some really bonkers things. Yeah, you've done yeah. some really bonkers things. Yeah, yeah. You continue yeah. to do lots of yeah. bonkers yes. things. Definitely, just going to get next. More. That's or Sam Murray. That is next. World yeah. domination. Yeah. Massively everywhere. Love I it. see my face everywhere <laughs> doing crazy <laughs> shenanigans. And I've got loads of really interesting people. I won't say yet, but there's some who are going to just. I mean, I'm, I'm not an interviewer like you guys, but I, I'm. We're oh, just going to. We're gonna, not professional. We're just, gonna, we're just no, you know, but they, doing I, what we love. But this is that's it. And just sitting there, spending time. Then they're going to do some stuff for me, as in the wimp stuff. And then we're going to get in the water. And then we're going to do their stuff, what, what, what helps them. So alternative ways of treating mental health. Okay, well, we want to come back and we'll be your guests. Yeah, we, yeah. I insist. Yeah. yeah. I insist. We insist. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. do it. Let's yeah. do like 48 hours yeah. of not being cold in the hour. I think we're going to say 48 hours of not breathing. Okay, we'll try. <laughs> like, yeah, I've, maybe not. I've meditated yeah. so much, yeah. I cannot breathe for two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah. That's not my thing. <laughs> thank you Aww. so much. Thank my, you for coming my pleasure. all the way here and bringing us Ferrero Rocher. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Such a gent. I know. You never I come was... empty-handed. Aww. No. Never. Aww. never come empty-handed. Thank you. Thanks, well, thank you so much for having me on. Thank yeah. you. Should we have a group hug? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sam Murray for coming in for this week's podcast. We had an amazing time. Um, I can't actually thank him enough. He came a really long way down to see us from the north down to the southwest. So it was really good having Yeah, he's here. interrupted his family holiday for us. So yeah, he did. we'll definitely get something right when people want to interrupt their family holiday to come and see us, which is amazing. Definitely. And we've got some thank yous this week. Thank you again to Dead Mammoth Coffee Company for sending us delicious coffee. My cup 
is empty. Yeah. Is yours? My cup's empty, completely empty. So that's a good sign. Good we coffee. like it. Thank you very much. And also thank you to our patrons. We have two new patrons, Donna and Alan. Yeah, we've got two new patrons this week. Come on, guys. Where's the rest of you? Sign up. Yep, get on Patreon and sign up. Uh, $1 a month is... Uh, a small amount and one million dollars is more <laughs> one million dollars <laughs> so it truly is up to you and everything in between so thank you very much any other thank yous yeah thanks to Red Rock for our apparel um, they're the ones that are making our patrons gifts which are almost done and thank you to Plymouth Armed Forces Awards for their ongoing support um, and guidance we couldn't be without you so thank you to Mitch and Lee from Plymouth Armed Forces Awards uh, I think there's one last person that we need to thank. Do we need to thank producer Pete from Locked On Media? Is yeah. that what you were going to say? Because we tried to record this about 20 times. Yeah. And it's... Producer Pete, yeah. give us a shout. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's such a laugh a minute. So grumpy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's just... He's been putting up with so much. He does put up with a lot and we're very grateful. Thank you, producer Pete. Thank you. We winked. Oh, we're in. We're. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might be. Tune in next week. Bye bye.